Yeah. This is Rabir Massad. Hello. Uh, very cool guitar player that we're very lucky to know. Um, and we're talking about a couple of pedals uh, that Rabir has on his rig called the Strymon Timeline and the Strymon Mobius. How, how long have you had these for? I got these just before the DD talk, Dodge and the Drills. So just at the beginning of February, really. And what, what was it that attracted you to buying these two pedals? To be honest, it was one of my friends, um, I had the timeline, I heard him playing with it at his house. And it was, I love delay, I always have delay. Yeah. So I was like, I want one of these. Uh, and then I went onto the Strymon website <coughs> to find out more about them. Went onto the Strymon website and um, they take you through everything that they do. And then I found out about the Mobius through the Strymon website. Again, some great sounds on it. So I had to have them both because I just have delay and modulation I've always had, but to the extent that these go into, like it's a whole new world really. And give me the brief overview then, so what does the timeline do? Timeline has 12 different types of delay, everything from your standard kind of dual delay, like uh, analog delay, the D bucket, which is kind of based on the smaller single stomp boxes they do. And then you have like swells and patterns and all sorts. And then everything's basically programmable using just a few of the uh, knobs on the pedal. And the Mobius? Mobius is a modulation uh, pedal, but it's a super epic modulation to pedal because what it does, it has 12 different types of modulation from like chorus, uh, you I can see this. phaser, you know, it's auto swell. There's a few of their own kind of patented sounds like the quadrator and the destroyer that uh, <laughs> they do just a bit of everything from like, like, it's, like a, it's like a bit crusher, you know, bit yeah, crusher yeah, yeah. Effects, all sorts of crazy stuff really. And you've got this on your board. Now, normally you would run, what do you run, the Mobius into the front end and the timeline through the effects yeah, loop? Yeah, I put the I put the timeline in the effects loop just generally to blend with uh, my dry signal, yeah. just to add a bit of epic sort of space to what yeah. I play. Whereas the Mobius now goes through the front because I want it to directly affect the signal. Yeah, and we were talking about that earlier, weren't we? I think, it, although you, kept, you could put an effect like the Mobius through the effects loop, if you really want to um, have a wetter kind of uh, affected sound, you're better off putting it through the, the front end. Yeah. Now we're not, we're just putting both into the front end and what we're gonna do, we've got our classic kind of Marshall Fender stereo setup. Um, and we're gonna use this Mesa Boogie flux drive uh, if we wanna sort of add any kind of gain to the um, gain to the setup. Yeah, um, just using my sort of personal pedal board. Um, yeah, so actually we're not gonna use the fuzz, the, no. the JVM floor controllers for Rabir's Obviously, amp. Yeah. So, um, and we are powering all this off of the wonderful Pedal Power Mondo from the nice people at uh, Pedal Power. Yeah. Um, so I, let's hear. You heard that kind of classic Pink Floyd thing as as uh, we just started the the, the um, started the clip. Uh, they're both MIDI controllable as well. So if you want to use this as part mm -hmm. of a more complex kind of MIDI rig, you can do. Um, they're both stereo as well. They're both going. We've got them in stereo at the minute, so we're using both amps, which is so, yeah. So we're putting so the, the mono guitar signal into the Mobius, but then coming out in stereo into a left and right input on the timeline, and then one side is going to a Marshall amp and one side is going to a Fender amp. Yeah. It's very cool. I've got just some presets that. Yeah, I let, let me hear. Just you just play away. I, I just want to kind of hear how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, particularly anything with. I, I love all that kind of U2E stuff. Mm. Some of the Door J stuff you do, Floyd. Anything yeah. that's kind of heavy delay and modulation stuff. Yeah. It's just a sort of, I call it the DD stack because what I did was I based that patch on my old Boss DD6 and 7 that I always had running together. Okay. Well, so you get that just, double yeah. delay thing going on all the time. Yeah, but with it being stereo, you just get a nice ping pong kind of. It goes between the two, yeah. which is really If you're cool. watching this, you need to stick some headphones on or something like that or get your speakers sort of equidistant apart from you because we're going to do all this in kind of some very cool stereo. Yeah, and then it's just, I called it Dream, which is just a chorus. Just a nice thick chorus. Mm -hmm. Kind of just give it a bit yeah. of a dreamy kind of sound, really. But I'll show you a few of the presets. Yeah, I've got. do. I just called this one Vibe One, which is kind of just, and then I'll add just a straight delay. Um, That's 
that kind of those are the first, those are the kind of ones I use the most of. Yeah. So I put them first up, and then what's nice is if you want to because basically there's um, 99 patches on these pedals that mm -hmm. come presets, but then you have two banks A and B, so really you have 198 mm -hmm. different sounds. And what's nice is using the two right hand uh, buttons moves up banks and moving the two left hand buttons okay. goes And they're down. close enough together that you can do that with, with one, one foot. foot yeah. yeah, I see. Which is really nice. So if I move to my second lot of presets that I've got, I have one called Trip Control, which is basically just the weirdest. I'll just play it by itself yeah, for now because it. it's very strange. Uh, yeah. Which is like a computer of weirdness. <laughs> Uh, but that's really nice. That's really nice. I also, what's really cool about these pedals, let me stop that, is there's a vinyl effect. <laughs> so what it sounds like is a broken vinyl player, which is why I've done the same kind of delay with the same bit crushed sound with the vinyl effect, just for recording purposes. I don't know what that'll sound like through the pedal, but that's my basic. And then this is one of my personal favorites. So I'll just show you. This is called the Dream. It's basically an octave uh, kind of harm harmonized right. delay sound. So if I do it now. So. The more you play, the more you play, the more intense it gets. But basically, what I've done is these are going through my loop normally, so they yeah. blend better. Yeah. At the minute, they're very like loud. Over the top. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I'll show you the sort of phaser. Each each patch has like um, on the Mobius has a few different types of like under the phaser setting, you've got like three or four different types of phaser. Cool. Which you can access using just the value uh, button here when you push it in. You can move through the parameters of what you know. Because that that was one of the things that that I quite liked how uh, Strymon had done this. In that, when you're playing around at rehearsal and at home and just trying to get a sound, you've yeah. got some very heavy editing that you can do using this value control. Yeah. But then, in a gig situation, if you just need to bend down and and get to the types of knobs that you might have on a traditional modulation or delay pedal, da -da. you can just dive down and so you're not having to go into edit mode yeah. you know, when you're at the gig, which is kind of cool. Well, this is my PH2. I based it off the Boss PH2 that yeah. I used to use. Yeah. I can't, I can't believe how much depth there is yeah. to this kind of, you know, we're just using a couple of uh, relatively small combos. And the, yeah. the bass end is just fabulous, isn't it? So whenever I put that, I normally just use that with um, my DD stack. Yeah. So you have this kind of... And could you conceivably MIDI the two pedals up so that as you're calling up patches on the Mobius, it would automatically be calling up the, the one that you want on the strap yeah, on the you can, timeline? Yeah, you can, yeah. I mean, there are plenty of videos all over the internet of people that have both these pedals, and then they've rigged it up to a MIDI controller, and right. they've just built their banks, yeah. blending of all sorts. It's, it's endless, really. Let's hear some stuff where you kick in the, uh, the boogie flux drive and sort of, you know, maybe get some tones like that. Okay, yeah, no worries. Yep. Yeah. So if you want to kick in the flux drive. Did the um, you played the classic kind of Dorje uh, Aeromancy kind of intro, yeah, and it was like you can so see how you've got that sound using these two pedals. So yeah, wow. so if I do it. Um into the heavy hench yeah. as. I'm gonna show you that the other preset, the pattern trim. Yeah. 
uh, on the Mobius, this is really, really cool sound. So you have eight beats, um, and each beat you can program to be like triplets, like quarter notes, like full, you know, like whole notes and stuff, and create the crazy patterns for. And this is one of the presets actually. It's called Told You So, I think. So. It doesn't seem to matter where you cut in in the cycle of delays. Yeah. It always follows the same. Yeah. Which is kind of cool, isn't it? I thought every time you play it would almost restart that, yeah. uh, but it doesn't, does it? What, That's cool. What also is amazing is if you drop the depth to sort of halfway on the same patch, uh, you get uh, this kind of thing. So. So you blend the pattern in with what you're playing. And you're saying that you can basically change that sort of the, the, the way, the sequence in which it's repeating. Yeah, you have eight beats to play with um, and basically you create a full bar's worth of pattern. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Really good for the kind of more modern-y, genty guys. That's what, what it reminds me of is that kind of thing in the background of some sort of heavy double bass chugging yeah. riffs and stuff. So yeah. Any other riffs you want to kind of riff out on just for us to... <laughs> Let me just show you that this one is ridiculous. Anyone who's into kind of like electronic craziness can enjoy this. I can hear it already. <laughs> it's crazy. If you want to see more of Rabir playing the Strymon uh, timeline and Mobius, uh, Rabir's got his own YouTube channel, which is... It's youtube.com forward slash Rabir Afro. So that's R-A-B-E-A-A-F-R-O. And we'll put that in the bottom as well so you can see that. But yeah, Rabir's going to do some more on sort of editing and stuff like that. But for now, uh, I hope you've enjoyed our little Strymon video. And if you haven't seen the one we shot before this video, if you just want to see something on the more compact pedals, search on Rob's channel for, you know, Strymon effects and you'll find them. Um, but that's it. I've been the captain. I've been Rabia. And we'll see you next time.